Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we are seeing Lee's nomination for the Plant Pot Challenge. Um, Lee totally ran with this. Um, I'm well impressed. Uh, awesome, dude. Um, just waiting on the other nominations to come through and we'll start posting them up and give you guys more ideas. But without further ado, let's go and see what Lee done for his Plant Pot Challenge. Oh! <laughs> Hello Creature fans and welcome back to another episode of Lee's Creature Features with myself Lee. Uh, now in this video my good friend Steve over at Tarantula Tastic Enclosures has challenged a few of us YouTubers to take an ordinary plant pot which you'd usually use as a uh, quite easy tarantula hide. I think everyone's used them at some point. Uh, you either bury them half into the substrate or you cut them across the horizontal. Um, just take it and show you that you can take something you know as simple as this and with a little bit of imagination make it much much more attractive um, now on Steve's video he took it covered it in um, foam and cocoa fibre and he made a really nice naturalistic uh, hide and it just makes it a little bit more appealing in your enclosure but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and try and utilise as much of this pot to reimagine its shape and make something completely new out of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Do go and check out everybody else's uh, channels who's involved making these. He's also asked me to nominate a few other people. So I am going to go ahead and nominate Amy from Pet Rock and Roll. Now she's made some incredible enclosures. Uh, she's featured on some of my enclosure build challenges on my channel as well. Um, so Secondly, I'm going to go with Wayne from Stone Circle Tarantulas. He actually won one of my uh, enclosure build competitions with his historical build, which was absolutely amazing. So do go and check that out if you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, I think he'll have a really cool take on this as well. And then thirdly, let's go with uh, Critters and Creations Kelly because obviously it's in the name of her channel, Creations. She creates some amazing things. So yeah, you three, I'd like to see what you can do with your pots if you're up for it. But this is my build. I hope you enjoy it and I will catch you soon.
awesomely. Um, I knew he'd do something sort of totally out there sort of thing. I mean, um, my one was pretty basic, get you sort of thinking. This is giving you another completely different idea and I cannot wait until um, the other ones start coming in and give you more ideas and then maybe a sort of, We'll get loads and loads of people doing it, loads of YouTubers doing it, because it, every single one's got to be nominating another person to get me onto this plum bowl challenge. As I said, it's better than eating or drinking manky stuff. Bit of fun, and while the sun's out, why not get a bit of creative? Um, so, thanks for Lee. Obviously, check out his channel. Um, I'll put a link to his channel down below in the description. Um, Lee also is co-owner of Creature Crate, so go and check them out on Instagram. They do a subscription um, critter service thingy that's well worth checking out. I think it's creaturecrate.co.uk, but um, I'll put another link down below. But they are on Instagram as well, giving them a follow. Plus, Lee's on Instagram as well, Lee's Creature Features YouTube. Um, apart from that, thank you very much, Lee. Um, cannot wait until we start seeing more. Each one will be featured here and on his channel or whoever channel's doing it as well. As usual, guys, thumbs it up, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell, do 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 do. Notifies you of upcoming video, doesn't cost you a penny, but it means a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.